Ugh, why is it so gray? It's so gray outside. It's so gray outside. It's been rainy for like five days straight and I just, ugh, I hate the rain. I mean, I like the rain, but I don't like the rain. Okay, let's get started with this video. A lot of students, including myself, when I first started out with the whole idea of cybersecurity, think that, well, cybersecurity is its own thing. It's its own career. It's like accounting or finance. It's its own or nursing or uh, being a doctor um, or it's its own profession within technology. Little do we know uh, as students that it actually has to do with a broader, bigger picture, bigger image than, um, than just cybersecurity itself. In today's video, we address what you should learn before learning cybersecurity or learning the security components uh, of, of cybersecurity. Hello everyone, my name is Grant. Today is gray. It's been fi the fifth day probably in a row that uh, it's been gray outside. And I don't know about you, but when it's gray outside, I don't feel like doing anything but like sleeping and just uh, procrastinating all my work. So hopefully it can get sunny here, but we are in the winter. Not to sidetrack, let's get started with today's video. So cybersecurity, when I first thought, thought started, you know, thinking about the career itself, um, and even the degree that I'm pursuing cybersecurity, I think, oh, cybersecurity is its own thing. But in fact, that's wrong. Let me give you a great example. So for instance, let's say we have uh, programming, right? Or learning how to code. That's the big, huge trend these days, learning how to code. And we put the word, we associate the word programmer uh, with being a coder. But little do we know that there's a lot more than just coding, right? So we have um, the testing, the implementation. Uh, we have different software development life cycles. We have the security component of it. And we have um, just the initiation, the ideation, whatever the trendy words are. A lot goes into the software development life cycle. And so little do we know that it's not just programming. Um, or being a, being a coder. The same thing applies to cybersecurity. C cybersecurity is formally known as IT security. And IT means information technology, of course, you know that. So cybersecurity is, is really just a fancy word for IT security. IT security is literally, um, is what it really means. Cybersecurity is the marketing phase behind behind getting more people like myself to, to major in cybersecurity. So knowing this, is cybersecurity in and of itself its own thing? No, in fact, there is definitely an underlying component. Before I address what I think you should learn as a student, let me go ahead and just give you a little bit of a background upon, upon uh, what I did. So the first start out, I started with the CompTIA A plus course objectives uh, with a 901 and the 902 exam. I used Cyberry's free video training back when they had the 802 and the 801 available. So I was studying outdated content already. Um, I wasn't planning on getting the, the A+, but I thought it was a great way to start with the IT fundamentals. As I know, anything in life, right? You have to start with the fundamentals and then you specialize. I knew that, so I want to apply that knowledge to the IT world itself. So I started with the A+, and once I worked my way through the A+, learning a whole bunch of, of good concepts with also a whole bunch of port numbers or not even that, just like wires that you don't really even need to know. Um, after getting through the outdated course curriculum on Cyberary, they have updated that by the way, by the way um, I moved on to the Complete Cybersecurity course, the recommended course for all aspiring cybersecurity students. I have to do that every single time. I don't know why I have to do that. I just have to do that every time because it's like, okay, let's keep going. So anyway, the cyber, the complete cybersecurity course uh, was the next transition in, in terms of what I did. Okay, so to address the question head on, after all of the context and after saying it's gray outside and after doing the complete cybersecurity course promo, what do you th what do you think you should learn before? IT security, I'm gonna call it IT security. One word, networking. Networking is the fundamental base behind cybersecurity. Now there's two different ways you can go about cybersecurity, I think. Well, I guess you could call it three different ways, but I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna address the two technical ways really. You have the software development side 
and then you have like the networking side, right? I am not going to focus on the software development side for this video. I can always do that later, but we're really going to focus on networking. So networking is the fundamental, uh, the fundamentally what you need to learn uh, as a foundation for cybersecurity. If you can understand the ins and outs of a network, you can for sure understand cybersecurity. And I put those in quotes. Let me give you an example of like what you should learn in terms of networking. So understanding what a router does, configuring a router, configuring an access point, configuring and maintaining troubleshooting switches is huge. Understanding what VLANs are, understanding how to configure servers, understanding how to work servers and troubleshoot servers, understanding different types of network setups, network architectures, really understanding networking in and of itself, how to configure or how to set up, come up the plan, then configure it, maintain it, and then when it breaks, troubleshoot it. All of that is very important. Understanding what the OSI model is, TCP IP, understanding those, having a really good knowledge of what both of those do uh, is very important, I believe, uh, to getting a career in cybersecurity. So you should learn networking before the cybersecurity or how to secure the network of it, uh, in and of itself. You may be asking, okay, well, that's great, but I've, I've been doing this. You know, I've been doing this route. This is the route I've been doing. What should I do? Well, I would recommend, of course, that you complete what you have set before you and then uh, just realign your goals with uh, an overall basis of networking. Uh, it never hurts to understand other concepts. You know, of course, I did the A plus and the complete cybersecurity course. Now I'm learning the uh, fundamentals of networking. So it's OK. I, I did this. I'm doing the same thing. Where do I recommend that you learn networking or uh, the fundamentals behind networking? Following certifications, uh, certification curriculums and objectives is one way I think that you can really learn the fundamentals behind networking. Cybrary offers, if you're looking for a free option, as many of you are, Cybrary offers a Network Plus course. I recommend that you start out with the Network Plus, the CompTIA Network Plus, if you're trying to understand the fundamentals of networking. You can move on to uh, different Cisco certifications, uh, which would be probably you go the Network Plus, then maybe the CSENT, and then the CCNA, and then you can move on from there. But honestly, in my opinion, starting with the Network Plus is probably the best bet for you uh, in terms of understanding the fundamentals and truly uh, getting the basis, the foundation of networking. No, you're not going to learn every single thing or how to configure, but you'll understand just the overall objectives uh, and the overall outlook upon what a networking architecture and the foundations of networking in and of itself. To address one more thing before I end this video, so I am majoring in cybersecurity. That is my degree. I've said it multiple times on this channel, but for any new subscribers, I am a major, uh, a, a bachelor of science in cybersecurity. One question, frequent question is, well, you're telling me to learn the foundations of networking. Why aren't you uh, just majoring in networking? If you, if you are, you know, you're, you're not, you're a hypocrite. You're taking, you're saying one thing, but then you're doing the other. My cybersecurity degree has a foundation of networking, meaning a, there's a lot of networking classes before you even get into the security classes. So we do understand the fundamentals of networking, and then we go up into uh, the cybersecurity concepts, this how to secure the network. So yes, um, even though I do believe uh, that networking, having a networking bachelor of science would maybe be better overall in terms of understanding foundations, so too does cybersecurity because we do understand the fundamentals of networking. So that's a question I uh, typically get asked, maybe not really, kind of, I just came that up with my mind. Okay, we're moving on. I hope you guys found today's video uh, informational. If you did, please uh, make sure to share and subscribe. And um, oh, that's right. We have a Discord server out. If you are somebody who is looking to chat with other students 
or suffer with other students, or be in contact with the IT nerd himself, you should go to Discord. Go to the Discord channel, link in the description below. So thank you very much for watching and have a good day.